Lambang Four Bodhisattvas, Siddhikapa or Tijang Bodhisattva is the first in line because this is where Buddhism is founded on. And the name is already telling us the earth treasure. Buddhism builds on discipleship. We all know that. Teacher student relationships, which is educational relationship rather than religious relationship. Because we must aware if it becomes a religion, it is superstitious by nature because they are all working on blind worshipping and all that. If you look at the worldly religions, if they are not using the education, it becomes a superstitious. And when they were superstitious in the sense we're blind, uh, well, look in current situation, we are already lost in our wandering thoughts uh, because we have so much wandering thoughts and we got um, confused with so many things happening around us. All right. Are we going to add another layer of confusion to us, another layer of superstition to confuse ourselves further? There's no need for that. The purpose of Shayam Muni Buddha's Dharma is to help us to break through Ill delusions and be awakened to the truth. Because only when you're awake, knowing what is the cause and effect, what to prevent, when to do it, you can have a free happiness. You'll be preventing yourself from falling into sufferings. Or have a peace of mind and a fulfilling life. This is the discipleship of Buddhism. Now that we know the foundation of Buddhist education is built on discipleship. But discipleship, Buddha also told us, it is built on philippity. Without love and respect towards your parents, how can you be respectful towards your teacher, basically? Without this as a core, we can grow. If a person disrespect those who, come, who love them the most, which is parents, how can they be respectful towards the teacher? Impossible. Basic logic. When you look at teachers, uh, student in the in the in the school right nowadays, the way the attitude, you know, showing some attitudes towards teacher, then you understand that this is not a. Uh, this is something's lacking at home. Uh, it's not easy for teacher, uh, because parents, uh, home education has issues, so teacher can only do so much. If they can't even respect their teacher, how can they learn anything? That means how can they be awakened to the truth? Uh, say you have disrespect towards Amitabha, your teacher. How can you gain enlightenment? Right? How can you be liberate? Without this awakening, how can you be liberated from sufferings? Because you're not listening to anything he said. Like Shayamuni Buddha, everything he taught us, everything, every single word is not there just for the sake of it. Everything is coming out from the true nature. And Buddhism relies on your respect in order to dig the treasure of our true nature. Without that, how can we be awakened? And so, if there is a lacking of discipleship, it represents lacking of respect in general towards your student, the teacher, your own teacher. And that means you're lacking love and respect towards your own parents. That means if you're not like listening to anything, because lack of respect, right? You, you, just, you just let it be. You don't even take in what they said. How can we achieving anything then? How can we learn anything to achieve anything? That's why Siddhikapa Bodhisattva, everyone would know already at this stage. Uh, he represents filial piety. His sutra, sutra about him, Siddhikapa Sutra, is like Buddhism's doctrine of filial piety. 
people who being filial piety towards parents and respectful towards teacher is given the title Siddhikapa Bodhisattva. It's a title. If you are being respectful and loving towards your parents and teacher, if you treat your parents with loving heart, if you treat your teachers with a uh, reverence and respect towards the teaching, then you are the Siddhikapa Bodhisattva. Dijang Pusa. This is where you enter. This is how you begin your journey. Not just the parents of this life, the parents of past life. Many, many past life. That means all beginnings in general. You need to expand this loving heart from towards the people close to you, towards everyone else. Expand. With this foundation in your character, if you are like that, truly like that, then when you want to learn further and get better and, and more sophisticated in your learning, you, you progress very quickly. That's why all the Bod uh, Bodhisattvas or the Buddhas, when they represent, they, when they're trying to turn the Dharma wheels, they all born into the family of emperors and kings. You can imagine how big their merit is and fortune is because they all cultivate this filial piety. So in our case, if you want to have a good family or born into a happy family or you want to have your children to be loving and respect towards you, then you need to start doing it towards your own parents. If we can't even be respectful and loving towards our elders, how can you expect when you become an elder being respectful by your youngest? So, as a young people, we must understand that no matter how smart we are, how capable we are, uh, never fall into the trap of arrogance. Always remember your roots, only then you can grow very far. As a Buddhist, we need to learn how to love people, how to respect people. Especially in modern time, we need to learn. Because it is an unfamiliar and even unknown to people how to be uh, loving people, including especially people in the West. The concept is not strong over there. So next week we'll talk about that in detail. How do we be fit it? So th that's it for today. Um, basic. Uh, introduction on where to start in learning Buddhism. Uh, explaining why we need to be respectful towards our elders, our parents, and not just parents of this life, parents of many, many lives in the past. If you understand clear about these teachings, this principle, you will understand that all beings are your parents at one point in time. And how can you harm your own parents, knowing that they are your parents? Uh, even they harm you, you will not have the heart to retaliate because you are one. It's like left hand chopping the right hand. I mean, left hand harming the right hand, basically. You can't. And if you have this foundation, filial piety in your character, your cultivation, say chanting Amitofo, the speed is very quick, the progress is very quick, every day you improve. So these are the basic introduction we have today in the where we start in learning Buddhism, which is filial piety. Where do we start from filial piety? How do we perform filial piety or love and respect towards our parents? We'll talk about it next week. So today uh, we talk about here, I hope that everyone could uh, be earnestly in chanting Amitofo and be healthy uh, so that you all be peace and prosperous. Okay. Uh, also, let's go to Pure Land. Amitofo.